The Fantasy Skirmisher. Hey everyone, this is Nevin, and welcome back to The Fantasy Skirmisher. So, my family and I got back from California last night, and lo and behold, I had this uh, game waiting for me. So, I'm going to do an unboxing so we could see it together for the first time. So, what I'm going to do is just take uh, the shrink wrap around and then um, read the back here. Here we go, Les Claire from the Shrink Wrap. So this is a game I had learned about a while back on my favorite YouTube channel, um, The Dungeon Dive, hosted by Daniel. And actually, uh, I own a number of games because of him and his recommendations. Uh, so he absolutely loved this game. The one caveat he didn't care for was just the inconsistent artwork, which I think uh, has you know, been fixed in this edition. Uh, so let's go ahead and read this. Rogue Dungeon is a 1-3 to three player cooperative dungeon crawler originally designed for solo play. It plays like an old school roguelike using hand management, card draw, and dice rolling as primary game mechanics. Explore the map of each dungeon level, encountering traps and fighting monsters. Find treasures and various items such as weapons, armor, magical potions, scrolls, and artifacts to aid you on your quest. Gain experience to improve your hero abilities and skills and trade to improve your inventory. Players will need to figure out how to best use their hero's abilities, skills, items, experience, and luck to survive the dungeon. Enjoy even more replayability with new content and game modes such as the tomb and large dungeon maps. So let's go ahead and open this up. And by the way, this is a really um, heavy box. So it is packed. Okay, so first of all, we've got the rule book, uh, which I will set aside for now. And we've got some counter sheets here. Okay, Z. Curious to see what that is. And another counter sheet with some various tokens. And let's pull this out. And so we've got a mounted small map. Let's see which way I need to open this. Ah, oh, here we go. Oh, nice. So I'm going to go ahead and lift the camera up just a little bit. There we go. And to be honest, I have no idea how this plays. That will be for a future video when I play it and review it. And this looks like some type of player's board or status board. Oh, you know what? These are double-sided. So I'm going to compare so yeah, the maps are different. And this one's a little bit more dense. And I guess uh, when you're not using a particular dungeon, you're using the backside. Well, that's kind of a neat idea, I like that. And there's more. Upside down. And the back side. And we have another. So we have four dungeons in total. And those that are not in play are used as uh, player boards. So here's the top half. And the bottom half. Very neat. All right, so it looks like it's a nice, uh, sturdy counter tray. Got the dice. And oh, these are neat. We got wooden meeples with silhouettes on them. 
So let's take a look at these. Yeah, very cool. Very nice touch. And it looks like you have a lot of different types of uh, heroes you could choose from. It looks like a dwarf. Some kind of uh, road -like, roguelike uh, thief or something. It's like a female wizard. A robot, okay. Or some kind of construct. I would imagine. Looks like your standard fighter. And this looks like a bard. Yeah, very neat. Love the little meeples. All right, so now let's open up some cards and we'll start with the large ones. All right, we have 94 room cards. It looks like they all have a different type of jewel above each door. So, Acid Pool, Armored Guardians, Bat Swarm, a Bull Mech, Cave In, Concealed Pit. And I'm not going to go through these, all of these, but uh, I just want to get an idea of what's in here. A Crushing Wall, Gelatinous Cube. Yeah, I really love the artwork here. Kremlins, hollowed ground. So it looks like you not only have monsters, but different environments and non-combat type uh, encounters. Lake of fire, maze, mosaic floor. Oh, it looks like a puzzle. Yeah, this is really cool. Really cool. Okay, so. As you can see here, just lots of different room cards with really great artwork on them. All right, this makes me motivated to play it. All right, on to the next. All right, the next stack um, of cards here has more room cards. The Demon's Lair. An encounter. Oh, various encounters. And they all have different artwork. This is great. Golem with ruby eyes. <laughs> Guard Barracks Monster Bash. Pit of Despair. Oh man, love it. Okay, let's continue. And these are boss cards. It looks like there's supposed to be eight of them. So we have a Balrog. Cerebus, a Death Knight, Lich King, a Mountain Giant, Red Dragon, a Soul Tyrant, and a Storm Giant. Very nice. And let's continue here. All right, so these, what are these? These are 56 monster cards. So we've got everything from cave bears to giant wasps, gnolls, all the classic uh, monsters you would find in your classic dungeon. A giant scorpion here, shadow white, Skeleton. What's a wolf doing in a dungeon? All right. A zombie. Assassin vine. A dire wolf. Evil cats. All right. There's an inside joke in there somewhere. Hobgoblin. Kobold. Lesser demon. Lizardmen. Mech spiders. Orcs with dreadlocks. Rats. Skeleton Warriors, 
troglodytes, gargoyles, ghouls, giant cobra, giant spider, and we've got a harpy, hellhound, imp, mech soldier, rust monster, shambling mound, troll, air elemental, fire spider, a giant, a griffin, mech goliath, Medusa, a Minotaur, Ogre, Stone Golem, a Succubus, Water Elemental, a Werewolf, Wraith, a Basilisk, Cyclops, Devil, Earth Elemental, Fire Elemental, Hydra, Mummy, Ogre Mage, a soul gazer, and a vampire. Very cool. All right, let's see what's next. All right, I believe uh, these right here are map cards. Yep. So these are map cards. And they have some uh, different and interesting layouts, which is nice. And they are double-sided. As you can see here. Okay, moving on. Sorcerer. So these are the different heroes. Okay, so we have a, a sorcerer female sorceress, male and female rogues, this is a nice touch, ranger, it looks like got the stats on the bottom here, a monk, a miner, a machinist, oh okay that's what that is. A Crusader, and the Bard, and I don't think we have enough of uh, these uh, meeples for each and every one, as far as both sexes. Barbarian and Aristocrat, very nice. Okay, let's take a look at some of these smaller cards. All right, now we have some loot cards, and in the first uh, group of cards, we have some specialty loot. So it looks like for the rogue, and I don't even remember what that hero is, but that person right there. All right, so hunk of cheese, lockpick, rope, and then this character here. Anime Dead, Fireball, Lightning, Magic Staff, Luck, Shield, and Teleport. So look like there's some type of uh, spells. And then we've got loot cards. I don't think these are all of them, but there's uh, 94 loot cards total. And we're not going to go through all of them just to get an idea of what's in here. And it looks like they're all color-coded. And I'll have different symbols here. So I've got diamonds, gold cup, jade, pearl necklace, silver coffer. And we've got what, boots of agility and breastplate of vitality. So lots of different types of uh, cool armor. Gauntlets, helm of intellect. Ooh. Got helm, a few of them, uh, some regular shields. Looks like I have some scrolls here. Silent speed, fireball, healing, lots of neat items with unique artwork. Absolutely love it. And then we've got, looks like armor, battle axes, a book of spells, a crossbow, flail, flame whip, flintlock pistol, 
Horn of Blasting Mace. Then we got potions, potion of agility and healing. More healing, as it should be. Potion of intellect, potion of luck, strength, vitality. All right, and then we've got amulets, a protection, a bolus, camping gear. Nice. Crystal ball. Energy core for those skaven out there, huh? A flute, flying carpet, garlic, hunk of cheese, and of course, let me see garlic. Discard to kill a vampire and gain one additional two XPs, or discard to gain two health. All right. Meaty rib. I'm sure you get some health back, right? Discard to charm, cave bear, dire wolf, evil cats, or wolf, or discard to gain two health. I like uh, how some of these have uh, more than one use. Ring of fire protection, ropes, skeleton keys, torches, and wolfsbane. Okay, cool. All right, now let's take a look at the second deck of small cards. And we have some more specialty loot for the various characters. So taking a look. And we looked at some of their stuff already. This is see backstab, dagger, evade, and disarm traps, sneak attack. And then here we have bow, double shot, mithril shirt, resist magic, speak to animals, luck and torch. Enlightenment, Mediate, Quarterstaff, and Zen Focus for the monks. All right, so now Berserk, Forge Armor, Forge Weapon, Pickaxe, Helm, Rope, and Torch. And then Buzzsaw, Charge, Mech Suit, Mechanical Falcon, Mechanical Scarab, Overload, and Tinker. Blessed Hand of God, Sword, Turn Undead, Gold Cup, Loaf of Bread, and Shield. Getting close here. So crossbow, inspiration, lockpick, lullaby, loot of soothing, merry band, and a pint of ale. Obviously that's for the bard. And for the barbarian, blood rage, blood lust, cleaver, relentless, battle axe, javelin, and a meaty rib. And I think finally, Art of the Deal, Bribe Monster, Rapier, Summon Traitor, Bag of Gold, Breastplate, and Cell Sword. All right, so that gives the uh, different characters a lot of flavor, some unique items. All right, now we have, uh, looks like some Cursed Loot cards, of which there's supposed to be 21 of them. Cursed Loot, Amulet of Blood, Unholy Grimoire, Boots of Burden, Breastplate of Decay, Crossbow of Chaos, Dagger of the Damned, Demon's Orb, Dispel Magic, Energy Core, Gauntlet of Weakness, Gem of Souls, Helm of Insanity, Holy Water, Lightning, Pickaxe, Ring of Misfortune, Cursed Shield, Staff of Evil, Sword of Despair, Torch, a Cursed Torch. Okie dokie. And uh, Turn Undead. 
And then we have got uh, specialty loot cards. And it's supposed to be 26 of them. So we have a bag of gold, camping gear, charmed cats, charmed cave bear, charmed cobra, charmed dire wolf. So I guess um, if you have a monster that you could charm, that's what these cards are for. Charmed monsters and rats and spiders and wolves, crossbow, dagger, a dwarf, energy cone, friendly spirit, gem of seeing, Lilith, necromancer's wand, cell sword, skeleton, staff of striking, sword, tar, and wise man. All right, very cool. All right, we have the rule book. It is 16 pages long. And on the back here, we have a hero reference and monster special abilities reference. So that's nice to have uh, easy references. And then we've got the game components, dungeon board setup, player board setup, with the game overview, with all the various rules. Rules for events, of course, combat, with lots of examples, and a gameplay example, monster special abilities, large dungeon maps, I guess perhaps you could combine. Wow, that looks cool. Uh, and clarifications and variants. And, oh, so we got uh, credits, and I mentioned at the beginning that uh, my favorite uh, YouTube channel is The Dungeon Dive with Daniel. And that's how I found out about this game and uh, others to be, <laughs> for that matter. And uh, so it does give some credit here. Rob's Tabletop World, another uh, good YouTube channel. And a couple of uh, others, Spirit Blade Productions and the Emerald Tavern Games and Cafe. Very cool. Okay, so this is an unboxing of Rogue Dungeon. and. Uh, just the uh, look and the artwork um, has got me excited to play it. So I uh, can't wait to get it on the table and get it reviewed for you. I'll talk to you later. Have a good one. Bye.